Caddis Maximus here, this time with the Harbor Freight 250 pound laminated steel lifting magnet. Uh, they do have a warning, I guess it wasn't on my other one, people with pace, pacemakers should consult their physicians because of the high magnetic field. This is similar to their 150 pound magnet, although what seems a little bit odd is it's about three times wider than the 150 pound, but it's only rated for 250 pounds. Although it isn't quite as tall, so it probably has just a little bit narrower magnets in it, but I thought it was just a bit odd. It's more than twice the weight and, uh, and volume, but isn't twice the magnetic strength. I'm not exactly sure how to uh, explain that. Similar to the smaller one, they do have a threaded hole. It is imperial. It's a 7 20, and it comes with this eye bolt. Although you could, of course, unscrew it and put in a normal bolt and bolt it up to all sorts of things, which is one of the... Uh, deals that makes these handy is that they can be bolted up to something even though it is a one hole It is laminated steel. So what they do is they take the magnets they glue the steel panels on and then they just tack weld these uh, Steel pieces of sheet metal to it to hold it together Finally learned what these little notches for are for is if this these things are for lifting and shop use so they get dropped and it can break the uh, glue and so these little notches are to prevent the magnets from actually sliding out and getting stuck to the material itself in that situation. I actually found this, they're normally 20 bucks. You can get them for 16 with a 20% off coupon. This was 12 bucks on the open box shelf uh, with the sticker that said uh, cracked magnets. And it's really not so bad. Uh, There's some, some breakage right there and a couple of little chips. So it's something you may want to inspect and check the magnet before you buy it. This one was also pretty wonky. It may have caused the other person to return it just because they didn't like how uh, wonky this part was right here. Plus the the cracking apart. But that's something that's just going to happen. Magnets are made out of ceramic materials and are very brittle. So this was just a quick review of this magnet, which is just a bit easier or just a bit stronger and a bit wider now, there was a review where somebody had bought four of these and was trying to do something with a car roof, like weld it onto another car, and it wouldn't lift, whoops, and it wouldn't lift the roof. you got to be careful with magnets next to each other. Even these Allen Co's, they're strong enough where if you had your finger in there, it could be a real issue. The nice thing about this one is it has a bunch more surface area. It has a double thick center bar with two side bars of the same thickness as this one here. And that really translates into a bunch more grabbing power. Now remember, magnets, the strength of magnets is, uh, a lot of it's due to the amount of surface area that's able to make contact with, i.e. a magnet standing on its end is not going to hold as strongly as a magnet laying flat. The second thing is the actual cross section of the material. A magnet's going to hold on to a big thick uh, inch thick piece of steel much more strongly than it is a little thin piece of sheet metal just because the magnetic field is actually passing through the sheet metal and has less atoms to grab onto. One of the things I had mentioned is if you're using like this to lift up tubes just due to the nature of a thin wall of a tube and the way it doesn't make proper contact, it just doesn't hold on very strongly. When you connect this magnet to a big steel block it holds very strong. Now something that's a little different is this center bar and this magnet. If I can get this, it doesn't really want to go on the center bar. But what is surprising is that even on the sidebars, it really feels quite a bit stronger. It's really surprising. Um, even just like in this situation, it's actually significantly stronger even on the edge. So the design of this really is delivering uh, more effective magnetism. And to tell you the truth, I'd probably get this one over the 150 pounders unless um, you really need the narrow magnet. This one just seems to really perform much better, even on the same size of materials that you would test with this narrower magnet. Let me even show, like, uh, here we have a file cabinet. It's actually a decent steel case. Steel case file cabinets, so if you ever see them, or one of the brands that you do want to pick up. It does have a sheet metal side, but if we use this magnet here, we can hear how well it holds. And then if we pull on it, we could easily pull that off. How Now this magnet is really tough, and one of the nice things about the hook is being able to pry it off. Because if you slide it across a surface like that, it'll just scrape all the paint off. So as we can see, it really is strong, and four of these would have no question holding a car roof. It would probably have enough magnetism to probably let a normal person stand on it with four of these. 
And another nice thing is just the wide surface area makes it much more effective when you are magnet fishing, even though it's a lot heavier. This thing weighs at least 10 pounds. You're much more likely to retrieve something. And on a final note, if you are cleaning up a fastener spill, that's ridiculous. We can pick up, I bet I can pick up all, almost all the bolts in this entire bin with just this magnet. Look at that. So if you ever have like a spill of nuts and bolts and washers, pretty hard to beat this magnet. Anyway, I'm going to leave the review here unless I don't think anybody wants to watch me pick all this stuff off the magnet. But I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.